so that's the regular stock angle and here's the after installation I'm going to replace my outer tie rod as you see there my inner tie rod my front radius arms as well as those brand new still good so much so good white lines bushings as well as my front lower control arms coming from Belleville Canada been looking at these since last year October called the mantis kit by FDF fab the mantis arm the knuckle mount the outer tie rod the inner tie rod and my favorite offset spacer and you get a pair of extension support for the radius arm you can order in green purple or red you just gotta let the, the seller know uh, ahead of time email him I picked this it's a serious job this is weird I accidentally hit the red straw for the deep creep underneath the chassis and fling and flew somewhere in that direction whatever so I'm gonna let deep creep work its way come back tonight start unbolting things sweet So lower control arms are out, front radius arms are out, and I was able to give less stress on my upper control arms. Now due to the thickness of this diameter here, I had to grind these tabs off down in order to fit in the new lower control arms. That side and this side. Gotta think three dimensional your X, Y, and Z axis. That's right, you guide it with your knee. I'm impressed about these little notches on the offset spacer. So it interlocks like this. You don't need no vice grip or any other type of wrenches to hold it for you.
the old tapered hat from the front lower ball joint it's important again reuse it it fits right in here perfectly and also if my tires start hitting my Nismo cold air intake I'm gonna have to convert it into a, a short ram intake Definitely trustworthy how the stock knuckle wraps around the middle bolt there. I find it's rubbing against my sway bar, my eye back sway bar. But we'll see. That's my problem. This is it, the moment I've been waiting for. Do I need a spacer? Or do I need to take off my front sway bar? So far, I put the car on the ground, no rubbing on both sides of the front sway bar, but it was rubbing against my custom cover of my Nismo cold air intake. So yeah, that's my installation of FDF Fab Racing Shop from Canada. Thank you Steven Marinelli for that technical support. Peace! Shoots! There's my missing red straw. Bam! Done. But I'm still gonna be observant on my location of my new catch can. If I catch on fire, I catch on fire. <laughs>